Well, a good old-fashioned Etowah County rivalry played out tonight in Hoax Bluff, but it was all south side as the Panthers broke open a close 7-7 game in the third quarter. 35 unanswered points to wind up blowing away the Eagles 42-7. Coach Rick Rhodes, we came into this game knowing that these two teams were both wanting the win. Hoax Bluff's first game of the year, Southside lost a game last week. Panthers came out really looking good offensively in the first quarter. Yeah, they really did. They, they're going to start the game off uh, like a house of fire, both on the ground and in the air. You're going to see a nice long run and then a back shoulder throw right here. And uh, south, south side looks like they're out to practice early and they're going to get on the board. And uh, maybe it's a prelude of things to come later on. But as the game goes on, uh, you're going to see uh, Southside sputter really because of that uh, that yellow flag. Here's one right here that is roughing the uh, the punter penalty that is going to set Hoax Bluff up. It looks like Hoax Bluff has a chance to tie this game. But the Southside defense will stiffen, force a missed field goal. That was Hoax Bluff's best chance to score in the first half, and they were unable to do so. And and again, the south side defense, the way they just crowded the box tonight, really daring Hoax Bluff to throw, and they just didn't, other than the big pass play we'll see at the beginning of the third quarter, they just didn't have much of an answer, Coach. Yeah, this is the last play of the first half, and we thought this one was going to go all the way to the house, but really a game-saving tackle, or at least a touchdown-saving tackle, is going to keep that one from going all the way. Start of the second half, lightning strikes in a hurry. This was the big pass play from Masters to Cole Stone. And Coach, this tied, actually tied the game at 7-7, but that seems like a long time ago. Well, this was a huge turning point in the yeah, game. Yeah, things will never be the same after this. And, uh, uh, you know, that young man really was all over the field. We ought to mention him just a little bit. That's uh, Cole Garrett, who made several big plays. That one, that should have been a touchdown. Penalty called it back. The post route is going to set it up, and then Neesmith will run it in for the score. And really, Southside never looks back. And it was just such a, a, a balanced attack. There you see Neesmith scoring uh, his, his rushing touchdown tonight. And then even uh, special teams were a problem. The high snap and Southside getting the touchdown by way of special teams. And it, the route was on. And, and uh, despite the blowout, both teams a lot of respect for each other. And after the game, we did catch up with Southside's coach, Miles Holcomb. Well, you know, our kids came out, you know, we got punched in the mouth early in the second half, and I thought our, I felt like our kids responded really, really well uh, after giving up the big play to open the second half. You know, uh, we didn't play very good on offense last week, and our defense kind of kept us in the game. And so, you know, they, they came in on Sunday, and they were super locked in and, and excited to have this opportunity to come play again, especially over here with Coach Rob. You know, you know the quality of opponent you're going to play uh, when you play them. So. Uh, you know, we feel good about it. Obviously, there's a lot of things we need to clean up, you know, with the penalties and things like that. That's just something that we can't have going forward. But, you know, got a big region game coming up next week. So, uh, got a couple days to kind of rest up and get ready to go, and we'll be back at it on Sunday. Coach, uh, talk a little bit more about your defense. I, I really think that they were the difference in the second half. I mean, they just really shut uh, Hoax Bluff down after that uh, long pass. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, we, we have a great defensive staff led by our defense coordinator, Justin Bowen. Um, you know, and look, Justin's going through some stuff. He's been going through some stuff this week. Uh, lost a close member in his family last night about midnight. You know, I knew our kids were going to play hard because they love him so much, you know, and, and it's one of those things that we just kind of rallied around them. But they do a great job week in and week out getting our guys prepared and, you know, making sure they're ready to go. But, you know, you got to give your hats off to our kids. They play <laughs> right here man they mean the world to me uh i love these guys they they don't they, they don't know how much they mean to me um you know and i think i think they they love our whole staff uh it's a special bunch it's a special group and we told them last week we're not going to be defined by one game win or lose and that's the same thing here we're going to get back to work on sunday because we got big things still ahead coach congratulations on the win i know it's a big win with it being the rivalry with hoax bluff and uh, good luck next week in your region game yes sir thank you guys so much